Meantime, in Massachusetts, Westport is taking immediate action, placing a police officer at every school in the district. Superintendent Thomas Aubin says it's a sigh of relief for parents and staff, and he's looking to keep that program through the next school year. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones joins us now in studio with how this decision came to be. Chelsea? Well, this decision was actually set into motion last fall, but with the loss of those 21 lives in Uvalde, Texas, it increased the need to act now. Tuesday, May 24th, a shooter opens fire and kills 19 children and two teachers in Uvalde, Texas. The tragedy truly rocking the nation. Parents and teachers here at home shaken. I mean, my teachers have, have really, this has hit them very hard and rightfully so. I mean, you just to try and even countenance, you know, the killing of, of 10 year olds is, is just unbearable. Friday, May 27th, community leaders in Westport met to discuss arming each school in town with a police officer. On Tuesday, the 31st, they were there. Let's face it, it is, it is the, the most cherished possession that they're giving to us every day. It's a huge responsibility, both on their part and our part, and collaborative, we, we, we can come together and, and really protect our kids. This was the memo sent out to parents after the Memorial Day holiday explaining the decision. In a job where you give a lot of bad news, we've had a lot of good uh, responses from parents. They feel uh, terribly relieved. The superintendent says they're already working with delegation to help this program stick around for the next school year, but he says it'll take some money. We have 400 million uh, weapons in this country, and quite frankly, uh, when you combine that with the mental health issues that we have, uh, I think it only makes sense to find the funding to make sure that our parents know that their children are as safe as they possibly can be. In the president's address tonight, he talked about the CDC's latest data, which says guns are the number one killer of children in this country. He also says for the last two decades, more school age children have died from guns than on duty police officers and active duty military. He posed the question, how much more carnage are we willing to accept? In the studio, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.